So up until now, I've reviewed popular note-taking apps like BEM, Roam, Notion, Obsidian, Evernote, and Apple Notes. But in this video, we'll cover all of them side by side, feature by feature, so you can have a direct choice of which one you will pick. In order for any note-taking app to be sustainable, you want to create them as easy and fast as possible in new notes. On the computer, memory is easy, since you can literally type and then a note is created. And on the others, you have to click a button to get the same effect. On Mem, Notion, Roman, and Obsidian, you can also create notes while you write. Type either plus on Mem, at sign on Notion, and plus two and two square brackets on Roman Obsidian. This is very good if you have many ideas on the fly and want to access them later. On the phone, it's a different story because Apple Notes is by far the easiest one to create new notes and edit them because of the fact that you have the control center, you can access those quick notes and even regular notes. Other than Apple Notes, I would say that Rome comes as a very good second place since there's literally section just for quick capture, followed by Notion, Obsidian, Evernote, and lastly Mem.ai since the app is still in beta and not as reliable as desired. So other than Mem, all of these work just fine on mobile. So in terms of saving information on the web, nothing compares to Mem Spotlight. So you can literally, with one keystroke, save it to either an existing note or a new note. Otherwise, Notion Evernote has their own web clippers in which you can save web pages very easily. And Evernote has even their own web browser for some reason. And for the other ones, it's copy and paste. And on the phone, you can save all Chrome, Safari, links, etc. to the other note-taking apps, except for Mem again. All of these apps can be accessed on computer, but there is currently no web version for Obsidian. So if you have a computer to work or borrowing someone else's computer, it's a little bit harder to access those, unless you have a mobile, of course. But on the phone, you can access all of them, except for Mem.Android, on Android, so you have to sort of create the bookmark page for Android. But on Obsidian, you have to either get Obsidian Sync or do it for free. And I would personally suggest you do it for free using cloud services, more of it in this video. Here's where I get it. Now let's see how good the note-taking apps are in terms of the four ways of retrieving notes, which are search, favorites, linking, and timeline. All of them are very good and fast when it comes to search, except for Notion's a little bit slower, but it still works. And when it comes to favorites, all of them do a very good job. Aside from Evernote and Apple Notes, all of them uses linking and backlinks to various degrees. You can create notes on the fly and see backlinks from there. And on Roam and Obsidian, you have this cool graph where you can see all of them at once. And when it comes to timeline, it's only in Notion that you cannot directly see the last edited one. But on the other ones, the timeline is there. All these have very good formatting options, except for Apple Notes notes of mem where you cannot highlight. So if you are like me and want to do progressive summarization each time you visit a note again, you might want to take this into account. Other than that, you can even in Notion Evernote color the text differently and even having some colored highlights. It can be very useful if you want to sort of color code the text. For example, if red is your own comment on a particular text and yellow is parts that you want to work on a little bit longer, etc. On mobile, I would say Notion, Roman, Obsidian has the easiest formatting. You do not need to switch between multiple menus as with the other ones. The exception is memory, which you can easily format, but once again, no highlights. What Notion is really big on, and maybe even Rome to some extent, are databases that can be viewed as tables, boards, and other ways. And if you have a lot of information connected to a certain topic and want to update it regularly, I would say that Notion is the number one app for it. You can even create your unofficial website with it. So other than that, Rome has many interesting features like timers and calculators and secured blocks. Apple Notes has a password protected option. Mem and even soon Notion has this AI capability that helps you with creating aside from just showing random stuff. All the different apps varies in price. Rome is by far the most expensive with $15 a month or $165 a year, while the other ones can be used for free. With Evernote Premium, you can do many things that you can do in the other apps anyway, so you have to be an Evernote fan in order to justify that payment every month. And although Obsidian has its own Obsidian Sync with $10 a month, you can do free version. They even say that in the support page too, so 
While all these apps might have some differences, they're overall very same. I mean, after all, it's all about writing down your thoughts and repeating them and collecting them later. It's all a very simple practice that they all are very good at. So which one should you pick? And you can see on this table right here what you are going for. I would say if one of these resonated particularly with you, that you felt like, oh, this is mine, this is exactly made for me, then of course you should stick to that because after all, the best note-taking app for effortless note-taking is the one you stick to every day. Personally, I'm a big fan of using Notion and Obsidian together, and that's also the thing. You can combine various note-taking apps in order to get the best of both worlds, as I've done. And I'll come back to how I use it in a future video. But it's more important that you pick today than you pick your perfect option, because you can always switch later. So pick one today and let your personal library grow.